The videos featuring this two transistor CW transmitter were very popular. I've since made a small modification. I've added some antenna switching to the switch at the back so that I can switch the antenna properly between the transmitter and the receiver. That is coming via a wire from the transmitter to an alligator clip clipped onto the receiver's telescopic antenna. This is an AM only receiver, so I've set the transmitter up so that it's oscillating at a much lower power than when it's transmitting, so it operates as the beat frequency oscillator. That allows CW signals to be received near the frequency that I'm transmitting on. That is 7020, 7023, or a kilohertz or so either side with this VXO adjustment. Another thing about this is that there's a small frequency shift between when I've got the oscillator operating at high power and low power. That means that I can go from transmit to receive without adjusting this control. Something I should mention is that the signal from the BFO is a little bit too strong. That's okay with this receiver as there's plenty of gain and I can turn the volume control up. But for the weaker signals, I think a little bit lower BFO injection would be better. Still, this is not really a DX station, so it's unlikely that I would be working stations more than, say, two or 3,000 kilometers away. And that's Waratah's hands on my heart, also for Die from Bruce. So can, yeah, it is Bruce. I just the text is getting lost. I keep the new ones keep coming in. They disappear as well from the page. Q101 is the text number if you'd like to request a song. Uh, for next Saturday night, here's Lambda has been asking for smoke gets in your eyes by Johnny Mathis. And I've tried, and I said, I never did a version, never did a version. And. Uh, At about 5 p.m. local, I put out a few calls. First to respond was VK5LJ, not far from Adelaide. Now keep listening for what happens next.
This is a look at the reverse beacon. Receiving my signals, VK4CT and VK2GEL. You can see the most recent signal strength is 44 dB, which is an exceptionally strong signal, especially for 5 watts QRP. I think that's just an outlier. The more usual numbers are 28 or 29 dB for VK4CT and the VK2 was getting me at 13 dB.